Look at all those DOJs. Fine. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they're all like sealed and stuff though. Do a, a better deal for, for a bunch of thinnies. What if I got all these and that one? Yeah. This one, look, this one, this one, this one, that one. All these. Both those containers? Yeah. 200? This container, that container, yeah, that container, those three. Oh. Say 500 for all of them? Well, you was a two at this, but I put a few of them in here. Mm -hmm. You said two here, that'd be. I would do 300. 350? 325? You got these four totes? These four? three. These three? G.I. Joe's $40 a piece, okay? I'm gonna go in there and get it on a bulk deal, so I'm like, how much you want for all of it? So, he wants 40 bucks a piece. I buy them all for $325, and I got 50 of them, which is like 2,000 according to what he was wanting to get. But, just one of the ones I got is worth like 150 online. So I got 54 gi joe's today in the box dude wanted 500 he wanted 40 dollars a piece i told him how much for all of them he said 500 i got him for 320 so i got him for almost five dollars a piece by yeah. doing it in a bulk deal yeah so we got them all for about five dollars 92 cents a piece there's some here that go from anywhere from 40 to 100 dollars uh, i mean even these small ones these are good 15 20 dollars so he did really good we haven't looked every single one individually up and like counted it up and everything but the value's here for sure this one alone, this one alone right now sells for one a hundred dollars on eBay in the green. In other words, it sells for a hundred. Yeah, so Joe. if you sold these all on eBay, you'd make your money back off three. Okay, Joe, let me congratulate you on the second best buy of the week. The second. Because the reeling watch was the best buy of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, you did that! So Joseph doesn't sell stuff on eBay. He sells stuff locally. He sells stuff, you know, to resellers. So he sells it at a different price than he's going to get on eBay. But if you were to sell all this stuff on eBay, um, you'd probably conservatively be in around the thousand dollar range. So three hundred to a thousand dollars is pretty good in my book. All of the GI Joes are two thousand two or older. All the ones I looked at were two thousand two, two thousand, or nineteen ninety six, which is vintage they're all older 20 years or older so that's really good and the, what's really cool about these is they're all complete in the box a lot of them never open and the condition on them is really good the people said they had them pretty much just sitting in uh in like the shed or something for 20 years all right everybody so i got all the barbie dolls that i picked up lined up on the table here 
So I paid a total of $175. There was uh, 27 Barbies, which puts me in at a little over $6 a piece. I looked them up. Uh, most of them sell from anywhere $30 to $40. Um, so I'd say if I can net about $20 on each one, I'm looking at about potentially $500 in profit on my $175. A lot of them are older ones. They're limited edition collectors, uh, Barbie dolls. I got the 2010 Holiday Barbie. We got the Powerpuff Girls Barbie. Barbie Boot Camp, Army Barbie, Holiday Celebration Barbie, 2008 Holiday Barbie, more holidays. This Toy Story one is really cool. Barbie 2002, 2001, 2000. It's like the whole collection. This Batman was in there too, which is DC Comics, Holiday Barbie, Sydney 2000. I bet you this one's probably up there, maybe like 50 or so. This Poison Ivy is really cool. Fantastic Four. The Barbie Fire and Ice. We got the 2007 Holiday Barbie. 2009 Holiday Barbie. This Paratroop is cool. Paratrooper. Barbie Paratrooper. She's got all her little her uh, survival supplies in the side there. It's pretty funny. Oh, this was also part of the deal too. It's a sealed Star Wars trilogy in the box. 2004 edition holiday Barbie. We got the pilot Barbie. This Peter Rabbit one is pretty sick. I bet you this one goes for maybe like 70. I haven't even looked it up yet. I'm just guessing off the top of my head. Did pay a lot for these. I paid 175 for all the Barbies. Uh, the profit's definitely there. Joseph is actually potentially interested in buying the Barbies for his yard sale. Um, so we might work out a deal on that. Only thing is, is I'm just running out of space where I live. I'm running out of space for stuff. So I need smaller stuff that has more value. So we might do a trade, we might do straight cash, we might figure something out like that. Also from that same lady, I got a bunch of Pokemon cards for $5. A lot of them are vintage, but I mean, even if I were to sell them at bottom dollar, there's still value here because I paid $5 for the whole binder. Nothing super crazy. There's a few vintage ones in here, like this with the Squirtle. That Squirtle is actually really cool. What else have we got in here? That guy is cool. I don't know who that is, but he's cool. I do know a little something about Pokemon. I'm actually a Pokemon fan, but I'm not too knowledgeable in all the like newer generations and such. And a Ponita. These are a lot of vintage ones in here still. Pretty cool. So with the Pokemon cards paid $5, might sell them in a couple lots. I'll probably lot up the uh, 1995, like the vintage uh, unlimited cards, and then I'll sell the other ones in a set as well. Probably, potentially, I don't know. Just going off experience, maybe $60 in value.